Hey guys, welcome back to It's Gotta Be Halloween, which is 31 tutorials in the month of October. If you decide to use any of these tutorials, please use the hashtag It's Gotta Be Halloween so I can see your recreations. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video this month, hit that subscribe button so you get notified the second they're live on my channel. My Instagram family really seemed to like my baby doll illusion body paint, so I decided to bring you guys a tutorial for a more wearable and practical cracked doll look. As always, all the products used will be listed in the description, and with all of that said, let's get into the tutorial. So I start this look off by blocking out my eyebrows, and I've never shown you guys how I do this, so I thought it was about time. I use the drag method for blocking out brows, as it's the easiest to remove. I rub a glue stick back and forth to fully coat the hairs, then use a spoolie brush to brush the hairs up and out so they lay as flat as possible. Then I use the handle of the brush to roll the hairs even flatter, and I set it all with powder. Then I apply concealer to my brows and foundation all over my face. And I set it all with powder. Then I use a contour stick to start defining my features. I basically contour circles around my cheeks because I want them to pop forward and appear more pinched. And I contour my nose very thin with a pinched tip. When I have all my contour drawn out, I buff it out. Then I highlight my face with white body paint. I add blush to my new super round cheeks. Then I trace my eye socket and fill it in with black body paint. Now for the cracks. You want them to be very random so they look more natural. And you want the lines to be shaky, not perfectly smooth and straight. I kept the cracking on just half of my face, but you could do as much or as little as you want. Then you want to highlight above the cracks with white so they recede. Then I shade around the eye socket so the edge appears more rounded. I use the same shadow to define the crease of my other eye. I add some highlighter so my skin has more of a sheen. Then I paint on some large pouty lips and I put a hint of my contour shade in the corners of my mouth to add to the pout illusion. I line right below my lash line with white and shade beneath that creating a new lash line of sorts. Now for the dress. I sketch out a Peter Pan collar, then fill in the dress with blue body paint and the collar with white. I also highlight my shoulders with a bit of the white. I shade beneath the collar with a gradient of blue shadows so it pops forward. Then I paint on some buttons with white and shade beneath them. I outline the bottom edge of the collar with black to really define it. Last, I shade above the collar with my contour shade to separate it from my skin. Thank you so much for watching another day of It's Gotta Be Halloween. I can't believe we're almost already a week into this, and you guys have just been so supportive of all the looks, and I really hope you guys try some of them out. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.